Today, we're talking about AI. Hey everyone, Stefan here. I hope you're doing well. So let's talk about a little project that started about a couple of months ago. And I just did it for my own interest, but I thought I might actually share it with you. For those who follow my Instagram account, they will have seen that I posted the last three images that look quite outerworldly. And it is because they are created by AI. Some thought they were real, but no, they're not. They are created through AI. I went down the path of taking a ton of my own portraits, rendered them as black and white images. I went a little overboard on purpose with retouching, with dodging and burning, and I fed about 200 of those portraits into the AI. And I let the AI analyze the lighting pattern, the sharpness, the skin textures, and all those beautiful things, more or less to capture what I would do in the studio and I would do in Photoshop and retouching from Capture One to the final image when it is my photograph. So I fed that all into the AI and then I told the AI, create me some images based on what you've just seen. More or less to find out A, where AI stands these days, B, how well it can capture my personal style, the way I light it. And it's, it seems simple, but it's intricate. I find it very different if I move the light just a little bit that way, if I just enhance those highlights or those shadows just a little bit, and then also how I post-process those images. So let me illustrate. This is an original photograph in color, and then I turned it into black and white. And then I pushed it quite a bit in terms of dodging and burning. Next image, again in color, then in black and white, and the pushed version. Third example, same girl in black and white, and again, quite a bit pushed. Two more examples, just to have some different skin tones as well, black and white version and the pushed version for the test. Second last image, color, black and white, and pushed. And the last one, color, black and white, and pushed. And I've done that with a ton more images. So now that the AI knows how I shoot, how I light, how I process, I wanted to see what the AI can do for me. And as an interesting outcome, then also see when I post those images, how people react. Do they take it for granted? Do they see that there's something artificial about it? Or do they take it as, yeah, that looks like Stefan's photos? This is the first AI image that was created. Looks pretty extreme. So I took it into Photoshop to humanize it a little bit. I don't like Plastic Fantastic. So let's have a look through some of those. This is the original AI, the humanized version. Next one, original AI, humanized version. Next AI, humanized version. Original AI, humanized. Original AI, humanized. How can we push this even further? Well, in Photoshop, you have these neural filters which can analyze an image and colorize them. So we went from my original color photos to black and white to pushed to learn and to show the AI how I want those photos to look like. It then produced black and white images back. And now let's turn those black and white images that are already fake but humanized back into color images. And in Photoshop, it's quite simple. You open the neural filter, it's a one-click solution, and it creates a color image. This is again the original AI, then the humanized version, and the color version. Black and white, color. Black and white, color. 
black and white, color, black and white, color. And to just mislead my followers on Instagram just a tiny bit, I then posted the black and white image and the color image and just made the comment about, I wanted to see how the neural filter can turn an original into a color image. Most people sent me DMs and saying, this is AI, isn't it? Like, yes, it is. Some even came back and said, hey, the retouching is a little heavy. Are you going that direction now? No, I don't. I actually went the other way. I took the AI and tried to humanize it a little bit to then do the color translation and also, I guess, to fool some people. I find that was a very interesting little project just for myself to see where we stand with this whole AI at the moment. It is pretty amazing. It is scary in a way, but the one thing it will never replace is the human to human interaction, which I have with every single person that you saw before, real human beings. The laughter, the conversations, and what creates at the end, the emotion in the image is how these people feel in that shoot and not the lighting. The lighting, the post-processing, yes, it all does its part to support the main act, which is the person. And that, I don't think will go anywhere anytime soon. So I'm looking forward to what AI brings and how this develops. I might do something similar again in a year or so, just to see how close we are getting to really completely fool people. We are this, this close to it. Not quite, but nearly. All right, that's it for me. That's all I have to share for this week. Next week, I might actually call one or two of my friends again just to catch up. I hope you like those as well. Anyway, until then, go out and create something awesome. Mm -hmm.